Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to take a super fast look at the Super Great Soft Pop 2. Let's go over every little thing on it and talk about it really fast. Get you started, get you going. Soft Pop 2 is a collaboration between Casper Electronics and Bastel, and it is an acidic analog groove box. It's got an amazing style and an addictive sequencer that's just fun on a bun, so let's talk about it. I would say that there are five main components to understanding this synthesizer. You've got the oscillator, the filter, the envelope, some utilities and normalizations, and an amazing sequencer. So let's break them down real fast and go over what's going on here. So let's start by taking a look at our sound generation source, the oscillator. The oscillator is controlled by these three faders and these five jacks in the patch bay. This leftmost fader here is gonna control your coarse tune of your oscillator. Above it is a fine tune fader. This is gonna control the oscillator within an octave range. So it's really fun for going down an octave or up an octave when you're in the middle of a sequence. Let's flip to drone mode and Take a listen. To the right of our course tune fader is our mod fader. Any voltage that's present at the mod input jack will be injected into the oscillator. This is super duper cool. Up in the patch bay, we've got access to the triangle and the pulse wave. The pulse wave is normaled into the filter, so that's what you're going to hear. And then you've got a transpose input, a mod input, and a pulse width modulation input. Okay, let's move right on to the filter here, which is going to be controlled by these four faders and this collection of jacks up in the patch bay. The faders for interfacing with our filter are the frequency cutoff right here. Above that are the resonance right here your mod fader right here, and then this super interesting cross mod that brings the filter from normal behavior to absolutely wild, crazy boncos. If we take a look at our patch bay up here, we've got our cutoff, we've got our mod, we've got a bandpass output that is always available to us. We can switch between low pass, bandpass, and high pass with this switch right here. And then we've got this accent input. This is actually your VCA. It says accent, but it controls the VCA. Continuing right along, let's talk about the envelope, which is represented by these jacks up here on our patch bay and these two faders down here on our interface. The envelope on the Soft Pop 2 is kind of quirky and very unique. Instead of controlling the attack or the decay, you control the duration and the response of the envelope. So this fader controls your rate or duration of the envelope, and this fader controls the response from a short attack and long decay at the bottom to a longer attack and short decay sort of shark fin type shape at the top. Let's take a look at how this works in action. So I'm going to raise the rate here. <laughs> And now I'm going to raise the shape. This method of envelope generation loses a little bit of precision, but it gains the ability to very quickly make really interesting and fun shapes. If we take a look at the envelope patch bay here, we've got rate, trig and cycle controls, as well as reverse, which reverses the response of the envelope, edge, which is the end of the envelope, and the envelope output right here. We can see that the edge is normaled into the sample and hold, so this is a perfect time to talk about normalizations. Let's do it. In just a moment here, I'm going to engage the cycling function on the envelope and demonstrate some of these normalizations, but let's talk about them first, starting with the sample and hold. The sample and hold is normal to the oscillator mod here, meaning that when this fader is up, sample and hold voltage is input into the oscillator every time that the envelope fires. The envelope is normaled into the filter mod fader here, so every time that the envelope fires, the filter will be modulated by this amount. Let's see how all this works by engaging the cycling input. Let's take a look at these utilities before we move on to the sequencer. In the top left hand corner here you've got a crossfader that can be used to attenuate, attenuvert, or crossfade between two signals. To the right of that you've got a mult right here that is a passive mult. It's wonderful for passively mixing signals and it's great for just multiplying a signal. To the right of that you've got a sync input. You've got a clock output right down here that's very nifty as well for these clocking functions. Right next to that you've got an input. This input goes through this input stage right here and comes out of this amp. This input will provide some soft clipping and saturation right after about, oh, I'd say about 50% there. After your input gets amped, it gets analyzed, and an envelope follower signal gets output from this dynamics channel. The most important utility on the soft pops that's available to you, the user, is the orb. This can be controlled by this switch, but we like to turn it back on. 
All right, let's move on to the sequencer. It's very exciting. Let's talk about it. It's represented by these jacks on the patch bay and these buttons on the left of the device. Moving from top to bottom, if we press scale, we can select a scale. If we press pattern, we can select a pattern. If we press slide, we can enter slide gates. These buttons will allow you to manually enter gates in your sequence. When the sequencer is stopped, you can press the slide and pattern buttons together to enter note entry mode. In this mode, you can select your step and then press these up or down buttons to change the pitch. Easy as pie, but there's another way that we can enter note data. If we engage the sequencer and then hold down the record buttons, the voltage that's present at the mod fader as well as any movement on the course fader will be recorded into the sequencer. So let's give that a shot. You'll also notice that when the mod fader is up, it's going to continually inject new random voltages into the oscillator. Okay, now that we've got a sequence in there, let's add some slide gates. If we hold the slide gate button, we'll see that there are already some slide gates in there. Slide gates engage a slide or portamental or glide effect. They also output a gate right here. That's very, very nifty for engaging things like the reverse or an accent. Let's enjoy these slide gates and move over to the right side where we can talk about play modes. If we hold down play, we can change play modes from forward to reverse, whatever we want to be. We can also chain play modes if we touch multiple while we're holding down this play button. Let's check it out. Play modes are the only thing that you can chain. You can also chain scales. So let's give that a shot. Of course, you can also chain patterns together as well as play modes and scales. This sequence sounds pretty cool, but I want it to be faster. So let's tap tempo by double tapping. If we want to double time this tempo or half time it, we can hold down tempo and adjust. You'll have normal sort of like double and quarter time on the left here and more abstract timing signatures on the right. They're very handy for getting wacky and kooky. Softpop 2 has a bunch more tricks up its sleeve, but I'm going to talk about one more today, and that's the trig effects. So if the sequence is playing and you hold down this trig button, you have access to eight trig effects. They do all sorts of cool stuff from rapid firing the envelope to cross mods and all sorts of kooky things in between. Let's check them out. <laughs> You can even record a sequence of trig effects in, so let's do that by holding the trig button and the play button. Fun, fun, fun. All right, and that's about all we've got time for today. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for checking out our super fast surface scratcher of the Soft Pop 2. There's so much more that this device can do. You should grab one today. Pick it up for yourself. Check it out. Find out for yourself. Why don't you do it? Go do it. Come on, go do it. Like, do it. Bye.